in my room I'm trying to find a nice way or a nice place to have you guys where you guys can see me clearly and where you guys can hear me and like it's clear for you guys so I hope this works um I'll we'll see you in the next video if I'm changing it around but in today's look I'm gonna go ahead and do a little festive look but at the same time we're gonna compare my old faves and my new faves if you didn't watch my most recent video, I really recommend you do. I talked about skincare, makeup, and hair favorites. So if you guys are curious on what I use and stuff like that, that video is perfect for you. For those newcomers on my channel, hey, my name is Jasmine. And I hope you guys stick around for a bit because I have a lot of content for you guys coming soon. Go ahead and subscribe and comment any recommendations you guys have for me. You guys know that whatever y'all want, I got y'all. I do, I really do. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. To start off, as always, I'm gonna go ahead and take my CeraVe cleanser and apply it all. Did I just say cleanser? <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer all over my face just to make sure our skin is nice and hydrated and prepped for primer, foundation, concealer, powder, blush, highlighter, all that. I don't know if you guys can see, but I do have a lot of scars on my face. So if you guys know any way to get rid of scars, can you guys please leave it in the comment section down below? I would really, really appreciate it because I'm trying to um, lessen the amount of scars I have on my face. Okay, so since I'm a lefty, I'm going to go in with my favorite products on my left side and then my previous favorites on my right side. Recently, I haven't been doing much on my eyebrows. Um, for my current favorites, I've just been tinting them and doing them myself, but previously I would fill them in with a pencil or a pomade So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on this side. Today I'm gonna go out with a pencil and that pencil is from e.l.f. Cosmetics Okay, so next up we got the primers going head to head. On the right side I'm gonna go ahead and take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and then on my right side I'm gonna take my NYX Angel Veil And on the left I'm gonna take my NYX Angel Veil I like to apply the poreless footy primer here where I have more pores and like textured skin. Now that I finish applying the primer, I'm gonna go ahead and let that set onto the skin. I'm gonna take the foundations and just line my eyebrows on the top to give them a nice shape. So on the right side, we got Milani Concealing Perfect. This one is in the shade um, 03 Light Beige. And I'm just gonna go along the top to conceal the eyebrow and make sure it has a nice and sharp shape. This brow looking kind of good. Good damn! I went ahead and wiped the brush off and I'm taking the um, NYX Born to... These are not the same shade, oh my goodness. My face is gonna be two different colors. I just knew. This is literally what I was talking about. But like, they both match me fairly well. On the right side, I'm gonna take my Real Techniques brush and I'm what a dumbass. I'm gonna take this brush. <laughs> I'm gonna take this brush to blend out the Milani side, but I put it in the in the part where I had the NYX side. So I guess we're gonna blend this side out with the brush now. Oopsies. On another foundation brush that I have, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Milani and begin to blend it on this side. I'm too lazy to get up. Um, <laughs> and with my beauty blender so we're going in with a brush today they're both really good foundations they're both really inexpensive and from the drugstore which is really good because that's what i like to go for since i'm personally broke and don't got money i don't got a job either so you gotta do what you gotta do and i think that these are great options they don't look that crazy i feel like i look a bit orange on camera but in person i'm definitely matching Alrighty, i'm gonna take this beauty this shit is not work that's what she said <laughs> oh press it into my skin just to make sure that everything is nice and blended together and we got no streaks i don't know if it's that i'm more textured on this side compared to this side but i just like this side so much more like look at that Next up, concealer. On my left side, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Hydrating and my L'Oreal Infallible. And then on my right, I'm going in with my Dose of Colors. I'm just gonna take this and like kind of outline my brow. 
Since it has a general shape to like sharpen it, I guess. And then just go under my eye. And I'm gonna blend this out because one thing that I, it's really full coverage, but it dries up so fast. So let me shut up and blend this out. Look. Oh my goodness. Alright, it's blending out a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna use the same beauty blender to blend these things out because I don't know that much. And. It is so much work to reach in and get another one. Like I did with the other side, I'm just lining it to carve it out. And then I'm fine, I can see her. Once again, using this beauty blender from e.l.f. I love the e.l.f. beauty blenders. They're super soft and affordable. Really recommend them. Now that we've concealed, next up, we're gonna contour. For the right side, I'm going with my e.l.f. contour palette kit type thing. Um, I was obsessed with this. It's I, it's not that I don't like it anymore. It's just like I said in the video, like I don't reach towards these anymore because I've been broader, broader, broadening, broadening my arms. Um, you know what I mean? Oh, that is. <laughs> Not okay. To blend it out, I'm gonna use a beauty blender. What's happening right now is actually really strange because the last time I remember using it, this did not happen. So I'm not really sure. Oh my! It's taking out the makeup I had on there. So there it goes. Um, I'm gonna use this side to kind of like blend everything in together one once again. Now we're gonna take. Hopefully my trusty wet and wild contour stick going in with the same brush and beginning to kind of blend that out. This is what we're looking so far. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I honestly contoured my jawline. I don't usually do that. I was just maybe hoping that I could give the illusion that my double chin isn't there, but it didn't do anything, so waste of time. Moving on to powder, I didn't mention this in my video because it wasn't like a die-hard favorite, but this was my all-time favorite um, powder for forever, the Jeffree Star one, but I stayed away from it because mm, this baby came in. So, we're going to go with this on my old favorite side. this much and I wouldn't press the powder in I'm just gonna do it how I would I used to do it I would take the powder and just set my full face this is kind of like how I used to do my makeup like using my old favorite products and like doing how I used to do my makeup that's cool I'm not gonna actually like do how I did my eyeshadow though but if you you guys don't want a video on how I used to do my makeup, <laughs> I will gladly do so. And then after setting my full face, I will then bake with this powder. So I'm gonna take my baking beauty blender and I'm gonna take a shit ton of powder like I used to. And <coughs> it smells phenomenal, but don't inhale it. Going ahead and then pressing it under my eyes. Going ahead and taking it and pressing it under my under eyes. I got a new one because I ran out of it. So I'm really happy because I got to restock on it. I love this powder so, so very much. I did not know how to use it at first, so I would get flash. So I would get flashback, but now I don't be getting flashback. And I love this beat. When I first started doing makeup, guys, I did not set my face. I would set my face but only in my under like my under eye and then I would go out and then I touch my face and I'm like why is my why is my foundation transferring and it's like baby you did not set it <laughs> you did not set your face so of course I should go move <laughs> but now I'm gonna dust this baby off there's nothing wrong with this powder it's a really nice powder I just don't gravitate towards it anymore because You know the drama and stuff and yeah it's a nice powder if you want to go ahead and get it go ahead and get it my under eyes is really nice and smooth it's just not what i'm going for anymore 
for eyes i love 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 my carly bible palette i didn't mention this in my previous video because i was talking about my current favorites and so this wasn't a current favorite because i got to let go of it but i absolutely loved it i do reach for it sometimes but it's the, just like the same amount of love that i once had is not there anymore so today she'll be going head to head with my james charles palette x morphe james charles x morphe palette and we'll be creating a look um trying to create a look that looks somewhat alike so i don't look crazy because i pre-filmed some videos for my tiktok so i do not want to look crazy i'm gonna go ahead and open up both palettes and see what colors are fairly similar so i can do them on my eyes so on my right side i'm going to go ahead and take this shade into my crease and just go back and forth i don't know what kind of look we're going for but look. so i'm getting a bit of fallout so i'm going to take some of that jeffree star powder that we were using and put it on my under eyes so we could dust it away after we're done i just don't want to ruin my base makeup i'm actually going to put it all over my lid and then continue blending it up so just packing it onto the lid just so like the whole base is brown and then continuing to blend it and in my opinion the exact same replica of that shade is this one so i'm gonna go ahead and do it on this side <laughs> i honestly don't know where to go <laughs> i'm just blending this shade into my creases like i don't know i don't know what we're doing now i'm gonna take the curly bible palette and i'm gonna mix this shade and this shade together have it transition into a nice shade now that i've done that i feel like this shade right here is a perfect mixture of those two shades so i'm gonna go ahead and use this to blend that out uh ugh, they look a big difference <laughs> oh my this looks a lot pink than i thought it would look um yikes so i think i'm gonna take this in these and blend it out here to kind of bring like that pink up Ooh, you see that yes yes that's exciting okay i don't think i did that bad of a job okay so now like right here i want to take like um a gold shade that these palettes both have so I'm gonna take um, this one from here and apply it like right here. I'm gonna dust the powder off now. I'm applying the James Charles one on this side. And let's just say she's not as pigmented. Um, that's kind of worrying me, you know? Let me see if I use my ring finger, which is much smaller, to kind of press in the that is no ring finger <sighs> the finger did a better job that's what she said i'm so clever and now i'm gonna take this color right here and smudge it under the, uh, the lash line to add that pop of red i see red wait i see red H2O and then on the right side I'm going to take my elf one. For mascara I used to really really like this one but I don't reach for it at all anymore. It's the better than sex mascara and then a favorite of mine that I've been using really frequently is the Essence Lash Princess. Lashes I don't have like a previous favorite um I just have a current favorite because I haven't gone through any lashes that I don't like so I'm going to take my cherry blossoms in the 935 style wait for the lashes to get tacky i'm gonna go ahead and apply the hula bronzer on this side and then my wet and wild on this side look at these lashes phenomenal a dollar go get you some the link will be in the description box i want to smoke out the look a bit more and i don't have like a previous favorite so i'm just gonna go in with one that i really really enjoy it's this one that i got in my boxing charm by Bodyography. Bodyography. Mm, that's what it says so i'm just gonna go for blush, I'm gonna go with this one that I used to really enjoy when I first started off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. And then recently I've been loving the Milani um 
big blushes so i'm gonna take dolce pink and just apply it on the apples of my cheeks for lips i'm pretty indifferent so i'm just gonna go with my usual the kkw lip liner now i'm gonna take the l'oreal concealer this time not the elf one because i'm super light and i still want to keep this one really dark kind of to come like with the look so since this one's a bit darker I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I usually do. I don't really like a husband, looking, so I'm going to take this lip gloss in this new shade and just apply it on my lips. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and take some highlighter. This one on my right and this one on my left. And this is the finished look. There isn't much of a big, big difference. I think I still look really, really nice. I wish the eyes could have been executed a bit differently only because I was trying to work with the colors and not have completely different looking eyes. But um, I don't look bad. I don't look bad. Um, I'm really happy with the way it came out. I definitely think you could go ahead and use this for the holidays now that Christmas is coming around. If you're willing to go smoky and like full on glam, this is perfect for you. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got to see these products battle themselves out if you have any more recommendations leave them down below if you want more challenges leave them down below and if you guys want to hit me up and send me some questions recommendations because you don't want to comment them here you can go ahead and follow me on my social medias on tiktok snapchat instagram wherever it may be I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and stay safe and yeah see you in the next video